If you're like Mike and Leon here, you know that weighing things is fun. But what do you do when your scales misbehave? Take a few measurements and hope for the best? Have your scales recalibrated again? Try with increasing desperation until you begin to question the accuracy even of the weights you thought you knew. If only there were a better way to weigh. Hey you two, are you tired of low accuracy measurements? Would you like to weigh household objects with the precision of cutting edge physics? Well, now you can with the NIST do-it-yourself watt balance made with Lego bricks. That's right, the NIST do-it-yourself watt balance is the answer to all your high accuracy mass measurement needs. Use it to weigh peanuts, packing peanuts, your engagement ring, other Lego pieces, a button, and much, much more. All with as low as 1% uncertainty. Don't settle for calibrated mass artifacts. Dropping, chipping, or even sneezing on them will change their mass and require a new calibration. Only the NIST DIY Watt Balance can be used again and again and again and again for endless measurement fun. Before I built my own NIST Demo Watt Balance, I had to use real watt balances, which are the size of a room and can only be found at world-class metrology institutes. Now, I can measure mass with an accuracy of 1% from the comfort of my living room. Warning, accuracy may vary. And for a limited time, you too can get in on the precision measurement action. That's right, there has never been a better time to build your NIST DIY watt balance. Because this tabletop weighing machine is based on a real-life device that is currently playing a real-life role in the international effort to redefine the world's basic unit of mass, the kilogram. When complete, the full-size watt balance pictured here should be able to measure a mass of one kilogram to within three millionths of a percent. That's low enough to make the watt balance the new official U.S. standard for mass, a role currently played by this golf ball-sized cylinder of metal. But the technology is so powerful that even when it's constructed out of Lego bricks, this instrument can beat the accuracy of some jewelry cooking and postage scales, all of which need regular calibrations to maintain their accuracy. And you can be part of this worldwide quest to explore the mysteries of quantum physics, the key to ultra-accurate measurements. Not convinced that something made of Lego pieces can deliver high-precision measurements using the same technology as a world-class metrology machine? Don't take our word for it, just listen to these experts. The NIST Demo Watt Balance is a real device that you can make at home, and it truly can measure mass with high accuracy, using the same principle as a full-size watt balance. Watt balances work by making an indirect comparison between mechanical power and electrical power. This allows us to measure the downward pull of a gravitational force on a mass by counteracting it with an upward electromagnetic force. What's maybe counterintuitive when you look at these machines is that they are not comparing the mass of an object on one side of the balance beam to another object on the other side. Instead, they are comparing the weight of a mass on one side of the beam to the force created by a magnet-driven levitation system directly beneath it. To illustrate, here's a basic watt balance anatomy lesson. First, each device has a balance beam. The balance beam on the full-size watt balance is a wheel that rotates as one side goes up or down. This wheel pivots about a knife edge. On the tabletop demo watt balance, the balance beam pivots about these two T-bricks. And here is the platform where we can set the mass that we are weighing. Unlike a full-size watt balance, the demo version has a symmetric design, allowing the user to choose which side they want to conduct the weighing measurement. We have a strong permanent magnet system down here. You can just see it peeking out at the bottom and beneath this mass platform on the NIST LEGO Watt Balance. To create this system, we set two permanent magnets, one on top of each other, in repulsion. Their magnetic field collide and spill outwards in all directions. This is very similar to the effect you see when two fire hoses are directed against each other, creating a radial spray of water. Finally, we create electromagnets, which in both cases involve a coil of insulated wire through which we can pass electrical current. Here, they are on either side of the tabletop watt balance. In the full-size machine here, we use a second electromagnet on the other side of the device to move the balance. 
We also have an optical measurement system including lasers and fiber optics on this table, which we use to tell us the position and velocity of the coil. In the LEGO Watt balance, we accomplish this with two laser pointers. How much current we pump through the coil determines how magnetic it is. Enough current and we can raise the electromagnet up against the permanent magnet until it exactly offsets the gravitational force pulling down on the object. Yes, folks, it's that simple. And building your balance is easy too. All you need are... LEGO bricks! Laser pointers, cardboard, wire, magnets, PVC piping, a computer, this free software, a data acquisition electronic system, and measuring tape. A few more items required for NIST DIY watt balances shown, such as nuts, screws, screwdriver, printer, photodiode, length of threaded rod, solder, soldering iron, display case, wooden baseboard, and additional electronics, including a digital analog converter, each sold separately. First, use your LEGO bricks to build the foot-tall tower and balance beam. Next, create your very own weighing platforms. Simply print out our custom target patterns with their easy-to-use adjustment lines and glue them to a piece of cardboard. Now, place the balance beam onto the tower and the weighing platforms onto the balance beam. The T-brick is the fulcrum. Just look at that balance go. Next, mount your two laser pointers here and here with a light-sensitive sensor here. No need for guesswork. These lasers will let you track the balance beam's motion in one dimension. One dimension? But wait, there's more. Why settle for store-bought electromagnets when you can build your own? To make them, simply wrap two lengths of insulated wire around two pieces of PVC piping. You can even use a power drill to speed things up and ensure your coils are smooth and even. Smooth and even. When electricity flows through the wire, the coils become magnetic. Magnetic. Now suspend your new coils from either side of the balance beam. And that's not all. What good is an electromagnet without something to be attracted to? Just attach a pair of super strong neodymium magnets in repulsion to a length of threaded rod. Warning, magnets are extremely strong. Handle with caution to avoid injury to self and others. Finally, you're ready to place a pair of magnets directly beneath each coil. Then, hook up your electronics, connect to your computer, and launch the free software. Free software! And presto! Now, you can move the balance beam up or down by changing the amount of current flowing through the electromagnets. It's the hands-free precision control you've always dreamed of. I used to carry a standard set of weights with me wherever I went, just in case I needed to calibrate a scale. Now I know my measurements are accurate without weighing my pockets down. It's a dream come true. And don't forget, the NIST do-it-yourself watt balance features not one, not two, but three modes of measurement. First, calibrate your lasers in laser calibration mode. Attach your measuring tape to a wall and turn on your laser pointers. It's quick work to gauge the position of the balance at several angles and perform a few calculations using the free software. Free software! Next, run velocity mode. Our experts explain. Before you can weigh an object on the balance, you need to measure your magnetic field. To do that, turn off coil A. Next, use the software to physically move coil A up and down next to the permanent magnet beneath it. You'll be using coil B on the other side of the balance beam as the driving force that creates this movement. This motion induces a voltage in coil A that you can now measure and that voltage allows you to calculate the magnetic field. You said it! Simply apply a current through one coil and use it to move the weighing platform up and down on the other side of the balance. Just look at that sinusoidal trend of induced voltage. Finally, there's the mode you've all been waiting for. Weighing mode! This is where we actually compare the gravitational force pulling the object down against the magnetic force that we use to push it back up. Yes, weighing mode is as easy as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If your calibrations were correct, you should get an answer within minutes or less. Fast and accurate. But don't delay. Start working on your NIST do-it-yourself watt balance within the next 30 seconds, and we'll throw in this free link to a journal paper with step-by-step -step instructions for building the balance in your home or classroom. Disclaimer, journal article also free to those who don't start building balance in the next 30 seconds. See link below. Act now! Join the growing number of happy NIST do-it-yourself watt balance builders, and you too can measure smarter. Thanks, NIST Step of Watt Balance!